Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm creating a card for the Just Cards video hop. And today's hop is all about flowers on cards. So what I'm going to be doing is a totally different technique of making flowers. I'm going to be using some Rhenia foiled paper. This is the blush color, and this is the emerald. And then I'm also going to be using the Rhenia Ghost Ink. This ink only works with the Rhenia foil. It does a reverse stamping technique, which you'll see how I do that. I'm going to be using several stays on ink colors. And then I will also be using some Alta New stamps, layered stamps. These are the ornamental flowers along with the dies. And all of the products I'm using will also be listed below in the description. It'll also be listed on my blog too as well, which the link was also down in the description for that. So to get started, I am going to move everything out of the way first. Okay, using the Alta New stamp, these are layered stamps. Most of them are in three. So the big flower here, no, oh, actually it's four. So I'm going to be using the two last layer stamps. So usually you do like a solid, which the solid is what I'm going to be using as the color of the foil. And then there's those ones. But these are the last two that I'm going to be using. So the first one will be the third layer. And using with the ghost ink, Rhenia ghost ink, you just want to stamp up or ink up your stamp really well. And then I'm going to stamp right onto the Rhenia foil. And since you are stamping on foil, you want to make sure you just go straight down because otherwise it will slide really easily since you're working on a slick surface. So to avoid the sliding, just make sure you go straight down. There we go. And then just taking my heat tool, I'm going to heat that up just for a few seconds. And now you can use alcohol, spray alcohol on like a paper towel, but I have these little alcohol pads that I don't know why I have them, but I've had them for a really long time, so I figured I might as well use them. And then just sliding right over to the top, cleaning it off. Sometimes you might have to rub a little bit harder if the ink is dried to remove that ghost ink. And then as you see, you will get the reverse stamp technique which is the silver which is underneath the the blush color of the foil and now the next step using the next layer I'm going to use stays on this is fuchsia pink that I'm using here make sure all that alcohol is dry on the foil first too Again, inking up my stamp and then lining them up. Again, being careful not to slide your stamp. And there we go. I think you can see that. And then before my ink dries, I usually try to clean it off with some stays on all purpose cleaner. It will stain a little, but it gets the ink off, so you can use it again. And now I'm going to use the inside to stamp the inside of the stamp. The two layers I'm going to do in cherry pink stays on. that dry. I'm going to use the heat tool on there just real quick again. And then using the next layers, I'm going to do blazing red. There we go. Now I have die cut out some of my flowers. There you go. And some leaves. 
And then I also embossed a piece of white cardstock. This is Tickle Me Feathers by Couture Creations. And I am going to adhere that to the front of my card base. Which is, there's my card base. So I adhere that real fast. And then I also cut out, show you that just a second here. There we go. And then I cut out an oval out of a piece of cardstock as well using the Spellbinders Classic Oval Small SM dies and also with a piece of the 3D foam adhesive sheets from Scrap of Good Adhesives. So as I did that, oops, everything's falling on me. I will adhere that into the front of my card about there. Peel off the backing. I already had stuck the adhesive or the the foam to the back of the cardstock piece. Also using some foam 3D foam squares from scrapbook adhesives, I am going to adhere the flowers onto the front of my card. Okay, now using a sentiment from Hero Arts, I'm going to be using the Thinking of You. I'm going to use my powder, so when I use the Versamark and the embossing powder that doesn't stick other places that I don't want to. Ink up my stamp with some Versamark. And I'm going to use some silver embossing powder. And there we go. I cut my sentiment into a banner, adhered it to the top with some 3D foam adhesives, and my card is complete. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.